Yes, no, yes, yes, yes. Oh, now this one's a good one. This one feels like a good one. Yeah, it's taking drag too. Nice, let's see what you are. Oh, this is a good sized one. Oh, it's a really big catfish boy. What's up anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. So for today, Amber and I are gonna do some good old fashioned jetty fishing. Jetty fishing is one of my favorite types of fishing and this jetty looks super awesome. All these rocks are relatively flat so it's not even that hard to walk around. The waves look a little rough but they're not like crazy rough. We got the surf side over here. This is where a lot of the waves are crashing. And we got the calm side over here. Looks a little bit more peaceful. Doesn't matter which side we fish. We're in Texas, fishing is gonna be good regardless. So let's go ahead and gear up and get started. He's a bully. Bully. But before we get started, let's talk a little bit about safety. You wanna make sure you have appropriate footwear. Anything with a lot of traction is good. Make sure you watch out where you step. A lot of these rocks up here are dry, so I know it's not in the splash zone. Down here, all these rocks are wet. You wanna to try to stay away from that. There's a lot of algae growth right there. It's all gonna be super slippery. So be careful if you're walking around down that area. Always pay attention to the ocean. You never know when there's gonna be a big wave that comes in. It seems relatively consistent here. This is about as far as it goes, but if a big wave does come in, you want to be able to prepare for it. And you can't do that if you're not looking at the ocean. Oh good, it's fine. Yeah, uh, swing it out that way. <laughs> I thought it was kelp. <laughs> it looked like it was a fish. When you said you didn't catch anything, I was like, what? It's another one of these catfish boys. This is a good size one. A lot bigger than the ones we caught at the pier. All right, here we go. First fish of the day. Looks like it has a little parasite on it right here. You'll probably feel a little bit better, Mr. Fishy. Such a cool catfish boy. All right, let's let you on back. It's the first fish for Amber. Thanks for playing. Here's first cast for the day for me. Let's see how long it takes for a fish to bite. Doesn't seem like there's anything on this side right now. So let's go over to the calm side. Oh yeah, this is more nice and calm. There's some dolphins swimming around in this channel too. Oh, there's two of them. Hello, Mr. Dolphins. Don't scare away the fishies, Mr. Dolphin. Nibbles? Maybe? Feels like it. Wait, there we go. I think I got one. Nice. Feels like a decent size, but we'll see. Nice, another little catfish boy. And I was wrong, he was not big at all. So it looks like out over here, there's a lot of these catfishies and they like shrimp a lot. Thanks for playing little guy. Okay, I'm not gonna cast too far. The current's really strong, so I'm just gonna lob it out, maybe like 10, 15 feet instead. I think it's on? Yeah, yep, yeah, it is on. Nice, this one feels like it's bigger. Nice. Yeah, it's another one of these guys. Haven't caught one today yet though. Love their colors. Yeah, there's that milky thing. Okay, back to go, mister. Thanks for playing. You think something's tagging? That's Bye. really small. Oh, or unless it's... Guys! Ah! Not a single thing has gone for the fishy bite, so I got some squid, I'm gonna swap it out to that. Let's see if anything will go for squid out here. We can try the fishy bites next time. She was kind of small. There we go. Feels a little bit bigger, but let's see if I get bamboozled again. Another catfish boy. Went for this shrimp again. Back you go. Yes, no, yes, yes, yes. Oh, now this one's a good one. 
This one feels like a good one. Yeah, it's taking drag too. Nice, let's see what you are. Oh, this is a good size one. Oh, it's a really big catfish boy. Nice, let's go. And another one for the shrimp. Probably gonna keep this guy. This is a hard head catfish. Pretty common out here and there's no size limit for them. So dispatch them and bleed them and then put them on ice to keep them fresh. We got one fish for the catch and cook later. Let's see if we can catch some more. Hello, Mr. Bird. I don't think the currents are strong anymore. I'm not getting dragged around and man, that's a really big boat. Wonder what that boat's for. Nibble, nibble. Nice. Relatively good one. It's got a little fight. Nice. Another one of these guys. Pretty good size one too, but let's let you on back. Thanks for playing, Mr. Fishy. Since the current's not as strong anymore, I casted this one a little farther out and nibble, and it stopped. Did it take my bait? Nope, nope. I think it's on. Nice. Another one. Medium sized fight. Tiny catfish boy. Back to go, catfish. Let's cast this one even farther. Whew. That was not far at all. Nibble, maybe. Probably a small one, unless he let go. I think he let go. No, he did not because it was super small. Honey, look, it's my PB. You got something? No, it's super small. Okay, right, let's let him on back. The pelican wants our fish. Another one just showed up. Distract them. Go. There we go. Okay, they're safe. Yeah. Take that, Mr. Pelicans. He looks pissed. Okay, now let's try to cast it super far. Whoa. That's a little bit better. Nibble, nibble. I think that's a good one. Yep, feels like a nice good size one. No, it's a medium sized catfish. Oh, Mr. Grackle is a catfish. Be free, catfish boy. No single thing has gone for the squids. Now we got shrimp on top, shrimp on the bottom. The buy on the shrimp has been relentless, so I'm very curious. Well, not very curious. I know fish are gonna go for both of them, but will they go for them at the same time? Yep, nibbles already. It's only been like 10 seconds in the water. Very small. There we go. Very, very small. This guy's got a nice mustache though. Very bronzy silvery. Goodbye. I moved a little bit more down the jetty, hopefully away from catfish and into some other fish that will go for shrimp. We still got two pieces of shrimp on, so we got double the chances. Okay, next one. Nice, this one feels good. I thought I felt nibble, but then it just stopped. Another one of these guys. This guy also did a little croaker noise. Goodbye. Let's give the Surfside another try. It's such a beautiful day today though. Nice little cool fog layer over there all along the beach. There's so many birds flying around too. I just saw a fish jump out of the water like right there though, like 10 feet in front of me. Kind of like the mullets over in SoCal. Is there a mullet over here? There might be a mullet over here. Maybe I'm getting some nibbles. But their waves are just so constantly bashing, I can't tell. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a fish. Might have lost it. Nice, another catfish boy. It was a fish at least. We're playing Mr. Catfish. There's so many of them. No more bites on the surf side. Let's go try the calm side again. Let's try, let's try that. Well, I caught another catfish. I was just reeling up to check my bait. I must have nabbed it in mid-reel. See you later, little guy. I checked this one out pretty far. I think I'm already getting some nibbles. Yeah, there is the current dragging me. Oh, that's a bite.
doesn't feel too big. Oh, well, on the bright side, if you're fishing over here, you're at least bound to always get a catch. Even if they're dinky catfish. You know what, that's enough fishing. Still got a little bit of sunlight left, so let's just get to the catch and cook. See you guys there. I'm only catching those hardhead catfish anyways. I think we've already seen enough of those guys. While Amber is cleaning up the fish and prepping it, I'm gonna go ahead and start the fire. We're gonna be using some mesquite charcoal and we gotta be quick because the sun's already all the way down and the storm's actually making its way through. So hopefully we can get this catch and cook done before the rain starts pouring. So here is the hard head catfish all cleaned up. So quick disclaimer, this fish is relatively terrible to eat. It's not that good, but I figured it'd be fun to give it a shot. So for this recipe, we're gonna do an Asian style baked fish. We're gonna take the aluminum after we season it, wrap it up and put it directly on the hot coals. So here is some ponzu. Best way to describe ponzu is lemony soy sauce. Pour it on. We got some brown sugar here, and we're just gonna add a little bit on top of the fish to give it a sweet taste, but also help caramelize the fish. Brush the brown sugar around. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to cover it around nicely. And then you're ready to wrap it up. You can use any type of seasoning, but we're just going with the ponzu for now. If you have soy sauce and fresh lemon juice, it might be better, but I really like ponzu, so that's what we're going for. The fish is done, but first impression, it's pretty rubbery. It doesn't flake at all. I'm having a tough time just pushing the fork through. It is fully cooked, so let's see how this tastes. Okay, it's not bad, but I can definitely see why people would not eat it. Very weird texture to chew, not 100% pleasant. There's nothing wrong with it. It's still fish, but it's not something you would cook your mom, is the best way to describe it. It's not good, but the flavors are great. The ponzu comes out very nicely. You get that soy saucy flavor. You got the citrusy from the ponzu, and then the brown sugar adds that nice little sweetness to it. Let's have another bite. Yeah, see, I'm having so much trouble just trying to get a little piece out of it. I would definitely not add this on my list of fish to eat again. On a scale of one to 10, I'd only give it a three. And that's just my honest opinion. We also didn't cook the whole fish in case it was bad. So I can still finish this up, no problem. But the rest of the fish, we can just go ahead and give it back to nature and let the birds and the crabs have at it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this. Thanks for watching guys. Fishing in Texas, super fun. Hardhead catfish, not so fun. All right, later guys.